as you can see just like in the shorts. <laughs> Welcome to Zyber Organics channel. My name is Tuan I'm the brand owner and founder of Zyber Organics. I sell cosmetics, candles, and also teach you DIY cosmetics on this channel. So welcome. Um, today we're going to do a oil-free super gel moisturizer. I actually come across the super gel moisturizer while browsing on the internet. I saw this brand with this, which was one of their best seller. I don't want to say the brand because I don't want to promote them. But I look at their ingredients and figure out some kind of formulation myself. And it was actually quite a low ingredients. So I, I kind of reverse engineered it. And I also added my own touch and I added my little bit of coloring, as you can see from the shorts. I added a bit of blue color and I call this blue chamomile gel super gel moisturizer. So before also we start, I just also want to show you the um, hyaluronic acid gel serum that I did from the previous video. This is the advanced one. So as you can see, um, it turned out really beautiful. It's a pink color. See, it's crystal clear, dissolves so beautiful. And if you look at it here, it's actually very very nice formula. I also want to thank everybody who has been subscribing to my channel. If you'd like to support the channel and help us grow or maybe if you'd like to give me some thanks you're more than welcome to buy anything from my shop where you can find the link on the description below and also in my channel details. So thank you very much and without further ado let's get started. Let's do this gel moisturizer. As usual you can see the formula on the screen quite shortly so you can follow from there and it'll be, it'll be a in the description as well. So um, there's two because here because we're going to do it in two stages the reason is if you add the thickener too early it's become a gel and as we don't want it um, to we will not be able to mix it very thoroughly so we'll do that at the end that's why I'm doing that in separate okay so let's start with adding the uh, salicylic acid I'm adding very low amount of salicylic acid if you'll notice in the formula the reason is the moisturizing gel is not an ex exfoliator so we need actually very low amount of it the reason is it's just if someone with acne or blemishes or spots, it will help. It will help them, but it is not an exfoliation, so that's why it's very low. Um, we're adding 0.25 salicylic acid. The most important thing here is that we need to make sure salicylic acid is dissolved um, properly. To do that, we need to add the propanediol next, and also I'm going to add the glycerin together, so that what happens is together they will be able to dissolve uh, salicylic acid. So I'm going to add. 7% of propanadiol okay now that both of them added we're gonna mix this so salicylic acid is gonna take time to dissolve what you can do you can actually heat this to dissolve it because otherwise you're going to take you need to take a long uh, you need to wait at least like half an hour for itself to dissolve so I'm gonna gently heat it to 40 degrees and, and then mix it over there once everything is crystal clear and dissolved, and then we can continue with the, with the uh, formulation. Okay, so salicylic acid is completely dissolved, as you can see. Um, you might not see it from there, but with my hand, so that you can see it is absolutely crystal clear. So this is the best method I found to dissolve um, salicylic acid. Combine propanidiol and glycerin together. Propanidiol is actually one of the best solvents for salicylic acid. So if you don't know, uh, propanidiol is uh, Zimia Promotio, is a humectant and solvent. It's also very, very good humectant, much less tacky than glycerin as well. So but what I've done here, actually combined them both. And with the heat, is with a little bit of gentle heat, as you can see there's some steam signs there uh, is just dissolves the uh, salicylic acid way, way better and it's still dissolved you don't, don't get crystallization either so I find that this is one of the best ways of dissolving you, so we're going to leave this now let it cool and then we're going to add this later at the uh, towards at the end let's move on to the other bit we're going to do um, uh, add our waters. So let's start with um, chamomile water. So I call this super gel blue chamomile super gel moisturizer. Um, so obviously because of the chamomile team, I'm going to add some um, chamomile hydrolate, which also means flower water. So we're going to add around 8%, uh, which is 8 gram. Uh, by the way, I forgot to mention this is 100% 100, 100 gram recipe. So everything is whatever the percentage is. So um, I'm going to add 8 grams of chamomile floral water. Okay, so it's going to be overboard, but it's fine. Um, 
Next, I'm gonna add some tea tree water. It will help with the acne and the spots on their skin. So this is a tool, actually a multifunctional uh, moisturizer because um, it will help with people with acne and spots and blemishes and to soothe their, color, their skin. Um, so we're gonna add around five, we're gonna add five grams. Next, we're gonna add our aloe juice. So again, helps with the moisturization and healing the skin. So aloe vera juice is really, is really good. So I'm gonna add 10 grams of aloe vera juice. Now, I'm gonna add some allantoin. So allantoin soothes the skin and calms irritation or any kind of like itchiness in the skin. So I'm gonna dissolve that. I'm gonna add 0.2 of allantoin, which is, you can't, uh, this is the ideal measure, ideal amount. So now what we're going to do, we're going to mix and try dissolving allantoin within this water mix. But it will dissolve, it just takes a bit of time. But if you gently heat it, it will be, it will be fine, it will, it will be fine and it will dissolve. So let me heat and come back to you. Alarm 20 is completely dissolved. As you can see, there's nothing left. It's all dissolved with a gentle heat. You don't need much. You can actually find this instruction on the supplier webpage. I'll put a link for them and you can also see it over there on the screen too. So very gentle heat helps with the alarm trying to dissolve it. You don't need much, just a little bit. 0.2 is actually the ideal um, percentage for this. Um, yeah, it helps with the, also help counter the salicylic acid if there's any irritation coming from salicylic acid. So it's a really soothing agent. Next, we're gonna add our water, which is 53.95. Let's mix it. Now let's move on, adding our uh, niacinamide. We're gonna add two grams of niacinamide. And now we need to dissolve niacinamide. It's gonna go cloudy first, so that again it will dissolve nicely. Okay, niacinamide is now completely clear and dissolved. As you can see, there's nothing left here. So next, what we're going to do is we're gonna add our extracts. I'm going to add dandelion extract, which helps with the skin clarification, and also helps with the acne and the blemishes. So it's a really soothing extract. You don't need much. You can only use 0.1 to 2% in the final solution anyway. We're going to add the maximum amount, which is two grams. Next, I'm gonna add pomegranate extract. So this is a glycerin extract. So make sure this is uh, water soluble. So this is a glycerol extract, which is basically extracting glycerin. And um, pomegranate helps with this with the moisturization, also skin smoothening. So it really it's actually quite a nice extract. So I'm gonna add another two grams of this. Um, so let's just mix it all together. I'm also gonna add some hyaluronic acid. So I'm actually adding hyaluronic acid gel. This is the gel that I made it in my previous video. This is a one percent gel solution. So we can actually add quite a little more than 1% without getting tacky. So um, if you want to know how I did this, you can watch the, uh, the previous video, which you can find the link about. Um, I'm going to add actually quite a bit. So I'm going to add 5% of this gel to give that a moisture boost from hyaluronic acid. So let's add. Let's have a quick check on the salicylic acid. How is it doing? Yeah, there is nothing left there. So this is, as I mentioned, propendyl prop, uh, prop and glycerin together in a heat really uh, does the trick for the salicylic acid. So this is all done. Next, we're going to add our preservative. This is Isca Guard PFA. Uh, again, in my previous um, hyaluronic acid video, you can find the details why I chose to use this. I'm going to add 0.8. Right. So we added 0.8 grams, so I'm just going to dissolve it. Final bit is going to add in the blue coloring. We can then move on to gelling stage. We're going to add 0.8. So by the way, this blue coloring is from Bioli, which is a we call Hydro Blue. So this is actually natural upcycled extract from Blue Spirulina. So Bioli specializes in upcycling uh, process. So I, they sent me this as a sample. Um, I put the link for them to go for that. You can go and check it. But this is actually natural color and it's not synthetic dye. 
Um, that's why I wanted to show this, this um, to give this blue, nice blue coloring. It's a water soluble, so it's not oil soluble. So as you can see, it's turned into blue. We are almost there. This is all done. Let's go back to our salicylic acid. As you can see, there's nothing in there. It's cool. There's no risk crystallization. What I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to use a dispersion method. Dispersion method, as you have seen it from the previous video, is actually dispersing uh, powders in glycerin or propanediol. So you can watch it from there, how I did it. And so what I'm going to do now is add my gelling agent. So this gelling agent is from Alchemy Ingredients. It's called Clear Thick. So it's made from cellulose, gum, and algin. Algin is actually is from uh, algae. So it's, it's a Cosmos uh, approved and EcoCert uh, gelling agent. It's, it says Clear Taste is exactly what it does. It's actually um, makes a clear gel instantly, so it's it's very high compatibility as, as well with like surfactants and um, other waters and things like that. So um, I I've been testing it and I quite like the texture and it doesn't give you that sort of um, tackiness when you when it once it dries on your skin. So I really like it. It has it has one point seventy five percent personal user rate so I'm adding 1.75 grams into this solution where salicylic acid is dissolved uh, and this drip and dissolve it here as well disperse it in here so 1.75 wow I got it on the time on, on the tag at this point 1.75 <laughs> um, and oh my god look at this blue I mean it just you, you can't really see but I, I, I mean it's just amazing so um, I'll show it to you from here as well it's just such a nice blue color so what we're going to do now is we're going to disperse this gum in this salicylic acid and propanediol solution so that it will disperse easily, it makes us the instant clear gel. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add this into here and then let it all uh, thicken up. And then once we thicken up, then we can check the pH using 10% solution method. So just add it here. Okay, so this is all not not let's mix it. A gel. As you can see it's already become a gel. And I actually wasn't gonna use in a bottle because it looks pretty. This is a previous one that I made it earlier. It looks it's in a bottle. Um but uh, you know it's it's still pourable gel. Um, but this one is just, I made it, I'm going to put it on a jar. Let's pour this now and let it thicken in here. You can see it from here, just like in the shorts. Yeah, so the gel is formed. So you can see it from here as well. Okay, so what actually I'm going to do as the last bit, I'm actually gonna uh, do the pH check. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna take two grams. I'm gonna take two grams of this and put in, like, make a dilution out of it. All right, so we've got almost two grams, and then we're gonna put 18 grams of water. So the pH is quite high, even though we added salicylic acid, it's 7.3, which is very high pH. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna add some lactic acid and to reduce the pH. This is 80% uh, lactic acid. Um, it's going to be a challenge, obviously, stirring up here, but it's fine. We're just going to try it with the best. Yes. We've got to add 18 grams of water. Okay, so I made the last mix, and this is now showing 5.0, which is good. I so that's how we do it. It looks quite Nice. It's still obviously sticking it up, but it, the texture is is quite nice. I really like it. So 
I'm just gonna show it to you, demonstrate on my face uh, how it looks and how it feels. Okay, so let's demonstrate this blue gel. As you can see, it's quite nice. It's still very little bit liquid, but it's gonna be really thickened up by tomorrow anyway. Uh, let me just put it on my skin, on my face a little bit. So, as you can see, it's really good. I really like the texture and it spreads really nicely. Just a little bit more. I mean, ideally, I could have put it on a on a bottle as well. So with the bottle, it's easy to squeeze. So with the jar, it's open jar, but um, it's fine. If you want to, to bottle up, put in a bottle, it's all totally fine. So yeah, it's already um, thickening, thickening up. I can feel it, and I can also feel the um, hydration, really. Like, it really makes my face, you know, hydrated. It's very really quick absorbing. It's already absorbing it, so... I really like this blue gel and with the chamomile in it it's really give you that like blue chamomile theme so if you have any questions about this or if you want to if you have any pro problems or any time points that you feel you get stuck you can always ask in the comments and I'll try to answer um, so yeah it's a little bit long video but hopefully it wasn't too boring for you. If you have any questions that I mentioned, uh, I'll put down the links in the formula in the description. So this is the blue chamomile gel formula that I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, you can give me a thumbs up and also subscribe. And if, until next time, take care. Goodbye. Bye.